but I will be looking tomorrow if an opportunity presents itself. And the other thing that could happen is, all right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, this is not financial advice, and today I wanna go through uh, the action on Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners. We haven't had a red day in a while. We were due or overdue for a pullback, so it seems like today was the day. So I wanna go through the chart, see what happened with Bitcoin, and see where we think it might go. And then I think there's some buying opportunities out there. I wanna go through a few Bitcoin miner charts as well. Bitfarms was down 5.68%. CleanSpark was down 0.11%. Marathon was down 4.07%. Riot was down 6.36%. Hive was down 5.29%. BitDigital was down 6.94%. Cypher was down 4.81%. Gree was down 4.5%. Any was down 6.87%. And Argo Blockchain is the only one on the list that was green and that was up 3.99%. That has been beaten down for a little while and it picked today to have a good day. That's the big picture. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. So we can see yesterday around noon, we hit an all-time high. This yellow line was our previous all-time high dating back to April of this year. We broke through that at you know 9.30 yesterday morning, which was Wednesday the 20th. We topped out at a new all-time high of 60, according to this, 66,000 nine hundred and twenty one dollars and eighty three cents and that was at around eleven thirty so from there it looks like we went back and retested the old all-time high down at just under sixty five thousand that seemed to hold and we bounced back off of that almost back up to our new all-time high but at around five o'clock this morning it looks like that got rejected and we started to head down we headed down to I don't know if you guys remember, I just added this purple line a few days ago. While I was adding it, we went right through it, but it looks like we gravitated back to this line and we've been going sideways all day today. And really today was pretty much between 62,700 and 63,300 the majority of the day. According to TradingView, we did get down to 61,850 at the low sometime in the 11 o'clock hour. So that's what happened on the day today. The question is, where do we go from here? So I wanna take a, a bigger picture look. I'm gonna to go to I'm gonna to go to this chart, which is a little cleaned up. It doesn't have a million lines all over it. So, because I wanna show you, right now we're, I believe, still in the middle of a bull run for Bitcoin. And it started on this blue line on September 29th. So from that blue line, it's been pretty much a straight line up. So it feels like we've hardly had any pullbacks at all, and that is true. But I wanna go through them really quick and show you that we actually have had a few pullbacks, and today's, although it seemed like the worst by far, it really wasn't. So if we start on the 29th right here, you know, we're going up, we go sideways, we go up, we actually went, you know, it doesn't look like a big deal, but we went down a little bit right there. Then we go sideways, we go up, and then we went down a little bit right here, up, sideways, up, and then from here, we went down to here, and then up, and then we had today, which was from here down to here. I'm gonna measure each of those real quick just to show you this actually isn't a crazy down day. You know, it didn't feel good and it was a red day pretty much across the board, but let's do the math. So this was the first one and it looks like from top to bottom, this was about five and a half percent. So that's a very small pullback and it looked like it was no more than, let's see, October 3rd to October 4th. Small and quick. The next one started on October 6th and ended on October 7th right here, and that was about 4.5%. So that was the smallest one. Again, just you know, from one day to the next. The next one was a little bit longer. It started right here at 8 o'clock on the 11th, and the low was right here, which looks like around 4 o'clock in the morning on the 13th. So still only a day and a half. This was 6.6%. Then this one, we went from here on at four o'clock on October 15th, we ran down to here at four o'clock on October 17th. So again, just about two days. And that was about 6.3%. So most of these were four, five or 6% drops. So if we, if we look at what happened today, so we went from about here at five o'clock in the morning 
down to about here at somewhere around 11 o'clock in the morning. So that was 7.2%. So yes, that was actually the biggest one we've had so far, but it was not dramatically different than the other pullbacks we've had in this bull run. Again, they were 4%, 5%, and 6%. This one so far is 7%. Now, that assumes that this one is over. So if we keep going down from here, you know, maybe this is a little bit bigger correction. And that really wouldn't be a big problem either because these are tiny corrections in the cryptocurrency world. So I'm just going to do one last number. If we end up going from the top all the way down to our previous uh, resistance, which was this line at 59,000, which dated back to May, that would really only be an 11% pullback. So that's very healthy. I don't know that we're going to do that. It seems like we're leveling off right now. However, uh, this this also does have a little bit of the feel like we're going to go sideways maybe on Friday and over the weekend. So I'm seeing one of two scenarios. We go sideways a little bit on Friday and over the weekend. And, you know, maybe we do go down and test that $59,000 line at some point. All of that would be healthy. Uh, but unfortunately, that would mean tomorrow may not be the greatest trading day. Or if this holds overnight... We may turn around and go back up from here. That's what's happened every single time we've had a 4 or 5 or 6% pullback. Yes, this one's 7%, so it's a little more. But if we look at the pattern since September 29th, this is about as bad as it's gotten. So we're going to have to wait and see. So having said all that, I want to show you a few Bitcoin mining stocks that I think have an opportunity because they did pull back. They pulled back along with Bitcoin today, but I think some of them had some catalysts and some of them hit some uh, lines of support where I feel like they may be a good buy. Again, please remember, this is not financial advice. You guys need to do your own due diligence, but I just want to show you what I'm looking at. And I have, I have three stocks in mind that I want to show you. Uh, that I'm looking at potentially buying tomorrow if the opportunity presents itself. All right, the first one is Hive. And I put out a video on Hive blockchain today, so you can check that out if you want. Uh, I did a deeper dive. So they had a press release today. They just bought a bunch of machines. They're adding 585 petahash to their overall Bitcoin mining hash rate. This morning, right at the open, Hive started to rally, and it was running up. And it got all the way up to about $4.20. And, you know, then Bitcoin started to tumble. And so this thing went back from here down to here. That was like an 11% pullback from the top to the close on the day today. So in my mind, you know, if Bitcoin corrects itself, that had a catalyst. So, you know, it has a reason to run up. It also stopped right here at its line of support. So that was healthy as well. And that 11% pullback, that could be free money if that's still available in the morning tomorrow. So that's what I'm looking at. Again, I don't have a crystal ball. This is not financial advice, but this looks this looks to me like a good opportunity. The next one is Bitfarms. So Bitfarms looked like it was starting to break out. Yesterday, at long last, it crossed this line at $5.95, which we've been shooting for since this bull run started. So Bitfarms started very low. At the beginning of this bull run on September 29th, it was down here near $4.00. So it had a long way to go. Yesterday, it broke the $6 mark, and the $5.95 line was the line I'd been shooting for for a while. So if we look from yesterday's high until today's close, that's an 11% pullback. So, you know, if Bitcoin gets healthy again, again, that seems like just making up for lost ground. I felt, I felt like we were breaking through this 595 level and we were going to hold above $6 and, and start to make our run towards $7.32. But obviously we got derailed today. So from yesterday to today, this is an 11% pullback. So to me, potential opportunity there if it lasts. The third one is HUT. Similar situation. Yesterday it got above $13 and broke through so $13 has been our price target for a while it got there and broke through yesterday but sure enough you know we had a downward push today and so if we start at yesterday's high and go to today's close that's about an 11 and a half percent pullback so there's three stocks 
that pulled back just between yesterday and today from their high to their close on the day today, they had a pullback of 11 or 11 and a half percent. So I'm looking at those three as potential buying opportunities. I will tell you, I did buy some bit farms today, uh, which seems to be a common theme with me. So I took advantage of that pullback. I also did buy some hut today and I took advantage of that pullback. I did not buy hive today but I will be looking tomorrow if an opportunity presents itself. And the other thing that could happen is this opportunity could get better. These could go further on sale. If this downward trend continues, these, these miners may go down again tomorrow. So I'm looking at all these as buying opportunities. Again, I don't have a crystal ball, so I don't know where these are going in the short term, but I'm still very bullish on Bitcoin. And as a result, I'm still very bullish on all the miners. So I'm looking at these pullbacks as buying opportunities. So if we get, you know, at a minimum, it looks like there's an 11% opportunity. And if we go down from here, maybe that gets better. So that's kind of my summary. I know today wasn't the greatest day, but you got to look at these red days as buying opportunities. And this is why we talked the other day about keeping some money on the sidelines for days like today. So thanks everybody for watching and good luck trading tomorrow.